Welcome to the Live Leadership Podcast with myself, Leela Singh. All things coaching, career and personal branding. This podcast is for ambitious career professionals like you, wanting to create a life of choice and freedom, to be, do and have more through overcoming limitations, to develop new perspectives and insights and to redefine your success, be that in work, health, relationships, and so much more. Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining from in the world today. Welcome to Live with Leela. My name is Leela Singh and I am a leadership career and life coach and I work with career professionals, typically in the technology industry, who are looking to overcome their limitations so that they can uncover their true potential and create new possibilities and opportunities all while showing up as the best version of themselves and this is what i call life leadership so what are we talking about today well this is the last life with leela episode for 2023 and so we will be back in the new year and I thought what would be apt as a topic for today is time to slow down. So taking a deep breath and slowing down as the year comes to an end. Why? Because we all can find ourselves on that daily treadmill, coupled with the challenges that come with that, the commitments and day to day responsibilities that we have to fulfill. And so it's really important to seek to take some time during this holiday season to wind down and also to reflect on the year, whilst at the same time thinking about your plans for the new year and what you want to change, what you want to be different as you head into 2024. And Yes, you might be thinking, well, that's all well and good, but it's Christmas holidays, there's social gatherings, parties, get togethers, family staying over, visits to, to see people, uh, presents to wrap and so forth, foods to purchase and cook and everything else that comes with this holiday season. And that can create a lot of stress and tensions and frustrations and all sorts. So my invitation to you is to set yourself an intention to slow down because this will enable you to manage those stress levels a little better and to alleviate the potential frustrations that come with that now this doesn't mean taking like a three-day break of course if you can then please do so this is about the small things that you can do to set yourself up for the day ahead that will have you feeling calm and relaxed and in a good headspace. So what are the what are the few things that you can do? I've got five things that I've identified that I'd like to share with you that if you take these on board and you seek to implement them over the course of the next couple of weeks, you will certainly feel like you're in a better place as you enter into the new year. So what are they? Well, the first one is set your intention to create some space. Now, days will be filled. They will be filled with, as I said, the cooking, the wrapping presents, possibly still some last minute shopping, visiting people, hosting people, you know, all everything that comes with having guests staying over and, um, you know, being all together at home, something maybe you're not used to if everyone's normally at school, college, away working and so forth it's like now you're all in the same house and yes it will be challenging it'll be difficult for some people so what can you do to set yourself up and to just help you to stay calm and connected with you and feeling like you're able to manage situations well so the first intention i invite you to to, to consider is to set some time for you creating space amongst those busy and filled days it doesn't have to be long it could be three minutes five minutes half an hour an hour if you have the time great but seek to 
to find five minutes in the day, ideally at the start of the day, to just simply create some space for you. Now, what do you do during that time? Well, there's many, many things you can do. Some suggestions I have are enjoying that space, first of all, and doing something or not doing anything at all within that time. So not doing anything is still doing something. What could that be? That could be simply just sitting still. Three to five minutes in the morning. So imagine when you wake up and just sitting on the side of your bed, closing your eyes, setting a timer for five minutes and just relaxing and breathing, taking some deep breaths and your mind will wander and you'll have that to do list going on in your head and all the things that are happening today and, and so forth and what you haven't done yet. Bring your focus back to your breathing and just simply focus on your breathing. And yes, your mind will go off again and think of other things and maybe start stressing about the new year and what you have done, what you haven't done and so forth. Bring yourself back to your breathing. And as I said, aim for three to five minutes as an absolute minimum to just create that calmness at the start of your day. What else can you do? Well, if you have a little more time, whether that's a quarter of an hour, an hour, a couple of hours, a day to yourself even, awesome, then make the most of it. So what can you do? Things that will help you to just slow down, unwind, create some calm and some space around you. Things like going for a walk, just the fresh air, being able to breathe in that fresh air, clear your mind, gather your thoughts, get some movement in your body, exercise, all of those good things. So walking as a start, possibly reading, maybe it's something you don't often get to do. Find some time to just sit down and curl up with a book and have a read. Spending time with loved ones, always good for the soul. Enjoying time with your family, with your friends. So what can what is that for you? What can you do to really create some enjoyable, relaxing downtime? Maybe it's taking a nice, hot, relaxing bubble bath or going for a massage. So maybe if you check if you're somebody who enjoys massages, and spa treatments, checking if one of your local places open over the holidays, you can book yourself in for a relaxing treatment. So those are just some ideas of things that you can do. I'm sure there's plenty more that you can think of, but just remembering to create some space for what we can call self-care, to enable you to slow down, to give yourself some time and not only be focused on everyone and everything else over the coming days. It will just help you to feel better, to feel more calm, in control, relaxed. And actually the next point, which is being present. So number three, slowing down so you can be present and enjoying the moment. Because when we're not slowing down, when we're not present, we're busy thinking of that to-do list and everything else that needs to be done, even in the moment when we're actually spending time, let's say, with family, with loved ones. And so you're not really there, you're not really present because you're thinking, worrying, stressing, planning and all of that, but everything else. So by slowing down, by creating that, even that five minutes in the morning and enjoying that space, whether it's just doing the breathing, going for a walk, whatever works for you, is that allowing yourself to stay present in the moment throughout each part of the day. So when you are maybe focusing on some work or organizing things and focus on that and that only when you're spending time with your loved ones be with them be fully present and and let go of anything else be in that moment and really experience it enjoy it and treasure it so slow down be present number four create some simple rituals for example the breathing or meditation there's lots of apps you can get or, or, or even you, on YouTube, there's a lot of things on there for meditation, for grounding. Check out something, find something that resonates for you that you can spend some time doing. Create some daily rituals into your life that you can embark on upon into the new year as well to set you up for the days ahead when you're back at work. So whether it's meditation, whether it's some exercise, perhaps you've let that wane and you can start by doing even just 15 minutes a day of exercise, going out for a walk, doing some stretching, you know, going for a swim, playing some sport, going to the gym, whatever works for you. 
identifying it, making it as easy as possible for you to follow through on. Sleep is another one. Sleep is something really important for setting us up for the day. So maybe your ritual or your intention is to start going to bed earlier, waking up earlier, whatever that might be, sleeping longer, getting an extra hour in bed. What can you do to make that happen? And over the holiday season, it's a great time to play with these ideas and these intentions so that by the time you get to January 1st, it feels easier to get into those habits. And all of them, all the things I've mentioned, and there's so much more that will have you feeling grounded and calm and centered and setting you up for the day. One of the things that works for me is some stretching and yoga. That really helps me to clear my mind, clear my head and set me up for the day. Another thing is walking, which also I find a lot of benefits from. So see what works for you and what you enjoy so that it makes it easier for you to follow through and keep it going as well. And then finally, a little bit of reflection time, reflecting on the year, how far you've come, what you've accomplished, where your challenges have been, what you've learned from those challenges, how you've overcome adversity and thinking about your future, thinking about the year ahead and what you want from 2024, what you want from the year, whether that's in your personal life, your relationships, your health, your work, whatever that might be. Just starting to play with ideas and think about what would I love to be able to say this time next year about my life and what has changed and where I am right now. Think about that. Just be playful with it. What I will do is I invite you to reflect back on last week's live, which is also now dropped on the podcast, Life Leadership with Lila Singh, all about reflection. And there's a process there to work through to really take time to reflect and explains the importance of that reflection time. So do go ahead and check out that episode. And in the new year, early in the new year, my next live, I will walk through a planning a vision process with you to set you up for the year so in the meantime i invite you to start to think about that give some consideration to it make some notes maybe map out a little bit of what the year could look like for you what it is you want to change to improve to work on to develop where you would like to be this time next year so that's my invitation for you as we end the year of episodes of Life with Leela. It's time to slow down, to jump off that treadmill for a little while, even if it's for five minutes a day, to create some space for you, enjoy that space. And this will enable you to be more present and in the moment and then really enjoy the memories that you're creating over the holiday season. Think about the rituals that you'd like to create that will enable you to show up and start your day better and play with them over the course of the holidays. Things like the meditation, bringing in more exercise, your sleeping patterns, reading, you know, meeting up with people, but, you know, organizing your social life so you get to see people more regularly. Whatever it is for you, think about it, play with it, start to plan things over the holidays and then take some time to reflect and to consider what it is you want for yourself for the new year ahead. So with that said, I'd like to remind you, if you haven't done so, should your career, your work be a priority for you and you're looking to get to the next level in the new year, you want to step up, you want to get that promotion, apply for a new role, move companies, whatever that is, you want to focus on your personal branding, how you show up in person. And if that's something that's new to you or you haven't really considered, then do please grab my copy of the Personal Brand Playbook. This is something I've put together which outlines what I believe are the five core components of building a powerful personal brand, your in-person brand and how you show up. It provides you with best practices that you can work on, develop and implement immediately, as well as identifying where your gaps are, the areas for you to focus on developing by completing your brand audit. So if you haven't done so, then do click on the link in the comments and grab your copy of the personal brand playbook. Secondly, of course, if you haven't done so, once we've finished here in a couple of minutes, please do head over to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with others who can benefit from the content in there as well. 
There is so much content in there all about personal branding. There's content around mindset, about showing up with more confidence. There are all of my podcast episodes, the video episodes there with incredible leaders from the technology industry who have generously shared their time, their stories, their career journey, the challenges that they've overcome and showing you what is possible. Each and every interview contains incredible golden nuggets that can really help you to propel yourself forward, to recognize what is possible for you and to, to drive you and motivate you forward in your career. So do please head over and check them out. There will be at least one or two interviews that will resonate with you and for you. And of course, as I said, share with other people who you feel can benefit from that. So those are my invitations to you as we come into the Christmas season. Grab your playbook if you haven't already done so and do subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the content in there. There is a podcast episode dropping every week other than over Christmas where we're taking a little break, but you will see there is a raft of content in there that you can watch and check out. There's a whole series on personal branding and so much more. So until next time, until the new year, remember to elevate your performance, to maximize your potential and to create new possibilities by showing up as the best version of you. If you have any questions over the course of the holidays that you feel I can help you with, please do DM me and I will come back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, have a great Christmas, have a great new year, and I look forward to seeing you again, same time, same place, early in the new year. Take care and have a good holiday. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already done so. And if you enjoyed and gained value from today's episode, then do please leave a review telling us your key learnings and what you enjoyed the most. And do please share this podcast with your friends and colleagues so we can spread the word on life leadership, creating a life of choice, freedom and new possibilities. Connect with me directly on LinkedIn and if you would like to learn more about how we can work together, either DM me on LinkedIn or email me. All details and resources can be found in the show notes.